Hey guys, welcome to Pink Fighter. I'm gonna go ahead and lead us in a uh, relaxation, breath work. I'm gonna say some things sometimes that are <clears throat> gonna feel good and you're gonna understand what it is I'm saying. And other times it's just gonna be like really hard to understand. So the first thing I want you to do is just, just relax your body, whatever that means. Let's start with the top of the head. And I want you to just imagine that you're almost in a womb, like an embryo, like a little baby. And you are getting all your nutrients. You're getting the perfect oxygen and rich blood. Your lungs are super clean. Your little fingers and toes are just awesome. The energy in your shoulders and your back. You're just relaxing, you're hanging out. And I refer to an area, if it's a painful memory that is associated with that area, just call it a feather or uh, call it a, just come up with something beautiful. So a beautiful jewel or a beautiful animal or a beautiful perfume or your favorite memory of being hugged by someone that you love dearly and greatly. Because what we're going to do is we're just going to go on this just real nice, easy, healing, restoration, reconnection journey. Just keep breathing, whatever that means. And then what I'm just going to ask you to do, if it feels comfortable, just lying on your back. You can be at your bed, you could be on the floor, you could be in a little cabin in the woods, you could be, you know, at your mom's house or at school or at work. You could just be somewhere where you feel safe. Maybe you're in your car at the beach listening to this, or maybe you're in Alaska with a mountains and stove and just just feeling all cozy in fact we're just going to start out with those eyes closed those the lights either totally off or dim or just however you feel the most comfortable maybe being out and having the warm sun on your face just want you to imagine just beautiful warmth and just total satisfaction and just kind of how we started in that embryo state. I just want you to just kind of relax. Just feel like super safe and super loved. And I want you to just practice letting go. And what does that mean? What does that look like? Is there like a little snapshot of art or a music or maybe you're experiencing it right now, just the act of letting go of something and just noticing, just noticing your breath around it. Notice how the tips of your shoulders are really curling inward. Your face is tight, your jaw is tight. Just relax your jaw, relax your tongue. Imagine warm honey, just beautiful and warm and wonderful, your face. If you could take like a little sponge or a washcloth and hot water and just put it in hot water and slowly release that water and let that steam lift up and 
just touch your face. You could be holding it over your face or you could be having like just a wonderful angelic beautiful helper just placing that warm washcloth or it could be cold whatever just sounds perfect maybe it has some like rosemary or mint or eucalyptus or nutmeg or just whatever favorite smell that you like an aftershave a perfume music, just anything that just makes you feel just amazing. Now take your hands in your mind's eye and just cleanse your hands. Imagine your feet are being cleaned and you now are being wrapped in beautiful warm socks. Your whole body has been nice and dry as your feet gently go in and just feel really loose and comfortable or if you like them snugly just imagine how they feel they feel just wonderful just let, let your toes kind of twirl around as i'm talking just notice that your body's gonna just start to just almost like right now let go a little bit deeper and just let it go inhale and exhale Notice how that just feels good. Notice how it's just like almost really rare where you allow yourself to relax. How's your jaw? Your jaw is tight. Relax that jaw. Relax your ears and your shoulders. Your eyelashes. Your nose, your mouth. Take a couple deep breaths, whatever that means. Just explore your breath, almost like you're an artist and you're just gonna paint a room with your beautiful relaxation of color or calmness and everything's white. Or maybe everything's dark and still and just wonderful. Maybe you have a specific light that really heals you. Imagine you're just in this just beautiful, almost like cocoon, womb, embryo, whatever serves you, whatever feels good. Feels good to just be lying on a table and to have angels attending to you. They're making sure your feet are warm and your hands are perfect. And their shoulder blades are all relaxed. They're going to make sure that your bed is the perfect temperature. And as you're having all these attendees assist you, I want you to just notice your left leg. Kind of notice what direction. Keep your eyes closed if you can. Just kind of in your mind's eye, notice where your knee is. And then notice where your toe is. And if you were to draw a light from the center of the patella of that left kneecap and draw a light directly to your toe, is your toe more externally rotated? So is it if there was a beam of light from your toe now going up to the ceiling is it kind of more towards the left or is it more towards the right just kind of notice by noticing that your toes kind of just went up a little bit so right now let's just go ahead and wiggle those toes on the left foot hold it. try to keep your body relaxed everywhere else just just kind of check in with those toes go and relax as you're as you're relaxing that side Notice the energy from the middle of your uh, big toe to your kneecap. Now, what I want you to do is pull the toes back in the direction of your kneecap and push that ankle down. And notice when you do that, how your knee and your whole top part of your thigh kind of would rather go inward 
than outward. Now, it might be different for you. And if it is, woohoo, we're all different. So it doesn't, there's no, there's no grade in, in, in what I do. It's, it's all what it is. So just keep breathing in and out. Now, what I want you to do is notice the, the uh, right foot. Is it kind of internal energy or is it external energy or is it kind of how my energy is kind of held and kind of going into slight dorsiflexion? So that means that the toe is pushing. Sorry, my toe and my body is in a different position than my other side so if I just brought them together in my mind so try to bring the right side to the left ankle and touch those ankles if you can ankle bone and if not just the toes are fine the toes and the knees actually not the ankle the toes and the kneecaps the inside of the kneecaps okay and bring them together now if you were to Take your mind and travel that distance between the right hemisphere of your body and the left hemisphere. Let's just travel all the way down that grid. Okay, now this is what we're going to be talking about when we're talking about training. What I want you to imagine now is relaxing in your belly, relaxing in your legs, and imagine the hemisphere on the right side and the left side. Now, as you're relaxing, I want you to see... What side of your body rotates out to the right or the left? And what just happened is my right side, where it was before kind of pointed down more like my left side is now, it's now externally rotated. So it's doing the exact opposite of what it just already did like two breaths ago. So if you don't understand this again, don't worry. You can listen to it 20 more times and you'll probably hear 20 other new things too. <laughs> Drop into the heels, bring both toes back. So if you are in snow, you want to make a mark in that snow with that right heel all the way up to that right glute and the same on the left heel going all the way up to that glute. I'm going to have you tense both sides as hard as you can. And I want you to imagine those ankles lifting up off the plane so the ankles wouldn't be able to be putting a mark in the paper, only the hamstrings, okay, and the glutes. So squeeze those glutes. Oh, yes. Now, keep squeezing the hamstrings and the glutes. I want you to imagine squeezing these little tiny bones in your shoulders. They're called your scapula. I want you to pull those little tiny bones. Now, imagine the energy in your clavicles, that little bone that travels right on top. You can kind of feel it if you like. Kind of come back from you, come down from your neck area. Now lift that clavicle, lift that chin, pull those shoulders, relax them now. Everything relaxes, everything was tense, now everything is relaxing. Just relax everything. Relax your breath. If it feels good for you, try to travel those fingertips over the dome of your low belly and we're just gonna have five breaths and that's gonna end us out for the day.
When you work on your breath, I want you to think of just breathe in and out. On your next inhalation, just hold it just long enough that it's gently uncomfortable. Not uncomfortable, just kind of gently uncomfortable. Take a breath in. It all out. Hold empty. And take a little breath here, but then just keep repeating the process. But when you are there on that last one, when you're holding empty, try to imagine that your clavicle has butter on it and you're just melting the butter, kind of like your whole clavicle and you're trying to make that area really soft where it could almost hold a glass of tea, but in a relaxed way, if that makes sense. So the other thing I want you to think about is when you're breathing in, I want you to think of like, imagine a walnut, okay? So a walnut is your belly and your sides. Like you're kind of a, you're gonna just be a toy and the middle of your body is gonna be a walnut, okay? So I want you to imagine you're inside of the walnut and you have to touch your body. And we're in like a magic world, right? So you, you, you have the ability to do that in, in the magic world that we're living in. So you go into this wall and as you inhale, I want you to think of, you, even though you're inhaling, this seems counterintuitive, but it's not as you're inhaling. I want you to think of lifting your entire body to touch the inside of the walnut because we're inside of the walnut, right? So you have to touch your chest, your shoulders, your low belly, your boobies areas, your chest, your shoulders, your uh, hips, your waist, your boob. You know what I mean? Like just like move your whole body around. You know what I mean? You can go just the segment of the body or you can make your entire body a walnut. So like pushing your eyes and, and like even though your eyes are closed, like opening them without opening them. Do you know what I mean? But your eyelids are still down and lift your shoulders back and push. I mean, just kind of do whatever you want. Every time uh, you listen to this, you can kind of choose a different adventure, if you know what I mean. So we're just going to we're just gonna go with it, okay? So just breathing in, imagine the walnut, okay? Here we are, we're inside and breathe in. Hold empty. It's actually holding the breath, sorry about that. And exhale. While you're going through these segments, kind of almost imagine as each, each breath is like an ice cube. It's kind of cool to look at it that way. So you gotta fill the ice cube by pushing your body all around it. Oh, you know, hold the breath, exhale, empty. So then it's like the whole inside of the walnut becomes like there's like a bladder and that like bladder bag or whatever it is, then that comes within. So inhale, you're getting big, your chest is lifting, your shoulders are rolling back. As you're holding it, I want you to find how can I hold and completely relax my whole body, starting with my eyes, my nose, my ears, my shoulders, my spine, my glutes, my legs, and then imagine just being suspended in the air with like no gravitational pull on you at all. You're, every joint is in neutral. There's a neutral load going through 
They're just in this weightless, like, almost just like flying, if you could fly. And it's just beautiful, weightless state, right? Kind of as they just say that you'll notice your body will kind of, kind of want to come in and go out too. But anyway, just work on that. And every time you do either your hold or your exhale, just um, on either side of that, put, um, you know, so you breathe in, hold at the top. And let yourself relax through the hold at the top. Because notice when you hold at the top, you're going to want to hold. But just try to relax in the hold, if that makes sense. Anyway, do a couple more breaths like that on your own. And, and that'll wrap up our practice today. All right. I love you guys. And just walk with peace and light. Bye-bye.